Hello, this is Quantum, and today I'm going to review the TP-Link 200 megabit per second Powerline Adapter Starter Kit. This kit gives you the equipment you need in order to extend an Ethernet connection from one end of your house to another without having to rely on Wi-Fi. In my case, the high-speed Internet connection comes into my home office, which is in one corner of the house. Ideally, I'd like to have Internet access throughout the house, however, my existing wireless doesn't extend that far. In the living room, where my Roku is, I don't get enough signal to perform video streaming. Normally, I would just extend the wireless connection using a bridge or a repeater. However, in my house, there's lots of sources of interference. I have the neighbor's Wi-Fi, the microwave in the kitchen, the cordless telephones, and my home entertainment system uses a wireless subwoofer, all of which operate on the 2.4 GHz channel. Uh, one option would be to get all 5 GHz equipment, but these Powerline Ethernet adapters turned out to be a lot simpler and definitely cheaper. So for my setup, I bought two of these kits and joined them together. In my office, one adapter connects to my high-speed internet router. In the living room, another connects to the Roku. And in the basement, I use a third to connect to a computer that I use for streaming Pandora. For my purposes, this setup has been working very well. I did perform some speed tests before I set everything up. With two adapters in the same room, I FTP'd a file between them. Considering the 5.4 encoding scheme used by Ethernet and duplexing, the maximum one-way theoretical bandwidth is 10 megabits per, megabytes per second. Um, I got uh, 9.2 megabytes per second, or 92% of the theoretical maximum, and I consider this to be very good. Putting a second adapter uh, at the other end of the house, I then again FTP'd a large file, and this time I got a speed that was 36% of the theoretical maximum. Even though the bandwidth is somewhat reduced, the ping times are still around 1 to 2 milliseconds, and there was no packet loss. Using a wireless adapter at the same location, I was getting upwards of 50% packet loss. So I consider this to be a very good result. Uh, for comparison, um, I was getting uh, 3.6 megabytes of, per second of bandwidth. Now the Blu-ray defines a 1x reader as 4.5 megabytes per second. So I almost have enough bandwidth to stream a Blu-ray disc. Of course, Roku, Netflix, and Pandora all use far, far less bandwidth than a Blu-ray disc does. So I'll be perfectly fine with what I'm getting. Some of the features from Newegg's product page include that this uses less than 2 watts of power consumption, it has a 300 meter range, it's home plug AV compliant, which means that these should be interoperable with other home plug, plug AV devices, and it uses 128 bit AES encryption, which means that your neighbor can't sniff your Wi-Fi packets just by, or sniff your, your packets by, um, just by plugging in another one of these adapters. Uh, in the box, there are uh, the two Ethernet adapters, uh, two fairly short Ethernet cables, and the manual and driver disk, but uh, you're not really going to need either one. Uh, for those of you who are curious about how these adapters present themselves to the rest of the network, they just act like a switch or a hub. Because of this, you can combine multiple kits, which is what I did. And uh, it also means that this is a driver-free install, and it's compatible with any device that has an Ethernet port. A few other things about these adapters. Uh, they don't block the socket, so you can still plug something else into the same outlet. The pins are not polarized, so you can plug it in upside down. In fact, you can plug in both adapters into the same outlet for testing purposes. There are three diagnostic blue lights indicating power, connection, and data transfer. The data transfer light does flash, so you might want to consider it covered with electrical tape if it's going to bother you. And no device is perfect. Uh, with these, you must keep in mind that the speed decreases with increasing range. The adapters also need to be in, on the same electrical system. If you're in a house, don't expect to be able to share your internet connection with your neighbor using one of these. However, these would probably work to share a connection between apartments or condos. And finally, surge protectors destroy the signal, so you should plan on plugging these directly into the wall outlet. If you buy just one kit, the setup is unbelievably easy. First, just plug each unit in. Second, connect the unit number one to your high-speed internet using the Ethernet cable. And step three, connect the other unit to the device you want on your network. And do this and you're done. There's no further setup you need to do. If you have multiple kits, then you first need to pair all of the adapters. The adapter that connects to your high-speed internet is adapter number one, and every other adapter needs to be paired to this first adapter. So for each pair of adapters, first you're going to plug them in. 
on the first unit, press the pair button, and then on each additional unit, you're going to press the, the pair button within two minutes. Uh, then just give the, the two adapters about 30 seconds to synchronize with each other. After you have all the units paired together, then you can go ahead and perform the basic setup above. Um, in summary, these power line adapters are a good alternative to using a wireless network. The setup is easy, and the speeds are good, and the connectivity is reliable. I give them five stars, or five eggs. Um, if you have a situation where you need e either internet connectivity, but wireless won't cut it, I recommend that you check these out. Thank you for watching.